Welcome to another Azure Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Question three of the CCAD series create a secret from literal values. Create a new secret named DB credentials with the key value pair DB password equals speed. Create a pod named SQL Server that uses the secret as environmental variable named db underscore password and run the container with the image nginx. Sail into the pod and print out the created environmental variables. All right, welcome to task number one. We're gonna create that secret. So kubectl create secret generic so I'm going to use help to hopefully give me an example and there it is from literal so we're going to do cube ctl uh, let me just use my up arrow generic and we want our secrets to be called db c r e d e n t credentials uh, and then this right here Let's see if I could eh, just be simple or from I T E R A L equals D B underscore password equals speed. All right, let's create it. Uh, something wrong with my from db credentials dash dash from uh, maybe this is a uh, yes this is a dash there we go now I think it'll work excellent test number one all done okay for our we're ready for test number two we need to create our pod we've done this several times now cube ctl create and we'll say oh no my bad cube ctl run we're gonna call it back end and image equals nginx now we're gonna do the hybrid approach we're gonna create the yaml in a file And we'll call this Q3 YAML. Let's go take a look at it. Oh, that's right. I don't have code on here. I installed that uh, Notepad++. So we'll close that one, that one that one and open up our question three which looks like we placed in the wrong folder so actually I'm just going to remove Q3 YAML Be easier just to do it through Windows Kubernetes. Back, click, delete all three of these. Change this to CCAD. Now, I'm going to run my command. Now, open this up. How could this not be there? Oh, because I'm in... There we go. Okay, there it is. So, we're going to use our friend documentation. Help is here. And we're going to type in secrets. Then over here on this side, 
could usually narrow in what, what they're asking. So use secrets as environmental variables. That's what we want. And here's a nice example. So let's see, we can minimize this. Stick that over there. Maybe. All right, so do, 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 do. there we go, that should work. And imagine underneath name. Yep. We want ENV. Name. And we're using the name of DB password, I believe. you from secret key reference name is DB credentials C R E D E N T I A L S and the key was db dash password. How about that? All right, I think I like it. Got the name, value from, secret key reference. Let's give it a save. And we'll try and give it a run. Create dash fq3.yaml. Well, no errors as of yet. Let's see if it's running. kubectl get pods. Back in, yes, that's what we're calling it. It looks like we got an error. Bummer. Let's see. kubectl describe pod backend. Couldn't find key DB password and secret DB credentials. So, did we call it something else? kubectl get secret db credentials and what was the actual error couldn't find db password and secret db default db credentials did i spell it wrong c r e d e n t IALS couldn't find key DB password. Hmm. I think I found the issue. I do describe on secret, and it looks like I went with DB underscore password, not DB dash. So I believe I could fix that here. So that Put a dash here. And we'll do a save. And we'll do a clear. And then we'll do a kubectl delete slash fq3l. And then create it. Kubectl get pods, and it's running. So that's a little better there. So there you are. Had a little error, but sometimes I'm mean, gonna keep that. I'm not gonna edit that error out. Uh, I think that might be useful troubleshooting.
in case someone else had an issue. All right, well, off to task three. All right, we're on our final task. We're going to check our work by shelling into our pod, which was called back end. And you can see there's our password right there. So this ends our question number three. And so far, we're doing pretty good. Thanks for watching.